Hello, Josh George, Dr. Pepper, Conference Championship Week predictions on the way. Let's pick some conference championships. Let's start with the Friday game in Santa Clara, California. Utah and Oregon. Big game in the Pac-12. Um, in the preseason, I thought Utah would be a really good team. They've got some sack masters, let me tell you that. And they're currently ranked number 14th in pass defense. But Justin Herbert, he's number ninth overall in passing touchdowns. Now, Utah number three in total defense. It's going to be that defense. And Tyler Huntley for Utah has been a hot quarterback. Utah's got a chance to get in to the playoff, maybe. It'll be them or the winner of the Big 12 game, I feel like. Um, really, it's going to come down to... Who can make the big plays? I feel like Justin Herbert in his fourth year. I know we're talking about two senior quarterbacks, but he's the kid that's going to raise his draft stock in this one. He's the one I trust leading a last-second drive. I've got the Ducks, 35. The Utes, 28. Baylor and Oklahoma. Arlington, Texas hosts the Big 12 title game. The rematch. Now, one fact I must mention, C.D. Lamb, uh, the number one Sooners receiver, was out last time these two teams played. He could play a huge factor. It was the big comeback for OU. Great first half for Baylor. Great second half for the Sooners. It's just, which one are we going to see? I think we see a mix of both. I think both teams kind of throw that last game out. And totally new game plans. Jalen Hurts has played one of his best games of the season last week against Oklahoma State. No turnovers. I feel like if the Sooners don't turn over the ball, and maybe they create some turnovers in this one, they've got a really, really good chance to win. Um, Baylor's a great football team. They're going to need to create turnovers to win. That's what it comes down to, to me. I've got the Sooners, though. They're the more talented team. They've won four in a row. I think they can win five in a row. Sooners, 41. Bears, 31. Now, the Chippewas and the Red Hawks. Central Michigan and Miami of Ohio for the MAC Conference Championship. This could be a really interesting game here. Um... I think that Central Michigan is going to have a good chance to win because John Ward, he has 1,056 rushing yards. They're gonna they're a ball control team. And the FBI gives Central Michigan a 62.6% chance to win. Give me the Chippewas. 23, the Red Hawks. 20. Now, the Sun Belt Conference Championship. And you've got, uh, you've got the Raging Cajuns, Louisiana, and you've got Appalachian State, number 25 in the nation currently. I think this could be a really good game. It's going to come down to defense, defense, defense. And who has the number 19th total defense in the nation? That would be Appalachian State. Now, I know... Billy Nepper is a good coach. He's got Louisiana to 10 and 2, but I don't think his offense is going to quite have it against this good defense. I've got Appalachian State 28, Louisiana 17. UAB Blazers against the FAU Owls. Lane Kiffin started 0 and 2, got blown out to UCF the Knights, and got blown out to Ohio State. Starting to turn things around, got his team to a conference title game. UAB, though, trying to go back-to-back -back conference championships. To tell you the truth, they have the number fifth defense in the nation. So can this UAB defense shut down Lane Kiffin? I'm going with the Owls, 34, the Blazers, 
23. I've got Lane Kiffin. Now. To the next game on the slate of games. There it is. I've got Cincinnati 34. Memphis. Uh, Cincinnati 34. Memphis 24. And let me tell you why. Now. Memphis. They, la they played last week. I feel like it's one of those games like I talked about. The OU Baylor game. Totally different schemes. Brady White had the great game. Well, this time Luke Finkel's offense for Cincinnati has the great game. I've got Cincinnati. The game in Atlanta. Georgia, LSU, play for the SEC title. I think this game could be a really, really good football game. LSU's undefeated. Georgia only with the one loss. But the key to this game is... Georgia's missing their number one receiver, dude, because he got in a fight for the first half. And their number one running back is injured. So it's just, I feel like LSU can jump out ahead, capture the momentum. I know Kirby Smart has won an SEC title. He won it back in 2017. But I just don't think he has the weapons at the beginning of the game. LSU finds a way to win. Tigers, 36. Dogs, 28. Hawaii at Boise State. They'll be on the blue turf for the Mount West title game. Boise State has a really good defense led by um, led by Burkus Weaver. He's number five in total sacks this season. And the number one non-power five freshman quarterback in Hank Bachmeyer. I think he's what leads Boise State to a win in this one. 26-17. The ACC Conference title game. Clemson and UVA. UVA came off a big one to get here. Bronco Mendenhall probably have some trick plays ready. Probably have his team as ready as they'll ever be to face the number two to defense in the country and the number one running back as far as yards per carry are concerned in Travis Etienne. I think Etienne shows out and this is when Dabo Sweeney has his team peaking. Of, of course. Let's go to the next one. I've got Clemson 40, UVA 21. Okay. Now, the Big Ten title game in Indianapolis, Indiana. Ohio State, Wisconsin. This one will be another rematch. And Jonathan Taylor kind of got shut down in the last game. He's number two, though, in all-purpose yards. He runs the ball. He catches the ball. When the ball's in his hands, good things seem to happen. Once again, a game of defense. Ohio State, number one in total defense. Wisconsin, number six in total defense. And the sack kids are going to show up. For Wisconsin, two guys tied at ninth in total sacks. And, of course, um, Chase Young, number one in total sacks for the Buckeyes. I think it's going to be a better game than last time, but I think Ohio State's going to pull away at the end. Justin Fields... He's too much. He's going to try to get his name in the, on the Heisman ballot. He's going to try to get an invite to New York and maybe even win it. But I've got the Buckeyes, 30. The Badgers, 17. Josh George, college football.